What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp animation tutorial. So this video is continuing our series on different kinds of animations you can create inside of SketchUp. So in this video, we're gonna use the extension animator to animate a moving car with rolling tires inside of SketchUp. Remember that all the example files as well as the video files that we create in this series are gonna be available at the SketchupEssentials.com slash animation. So if you want to follow along and kind of reverse engineer what we're doing, make sure to check those out there. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first thing first, model credit for this model is the Monconse Retirement Home by Taz1985. So if you want to download this model and follow along, this is in the 3D warehouse. And this is a great model, not only because the model itself is cool, but because there's already a car in here that we can use in order to model this out. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this car. So I'm just gonna use the move tool in order to move it back right here. We're also gonna move it up so that our tires are actually sitting on the pavement instead of in the pavement. So we're just gonna use the bottom of this. We'll move this down so that this is sitting on the pavement. And so what we wanna do in this situation is if you remember, there, there isn't really a moving geometry function inside of SketchUp itself for animation. So what we need to do is we need to use the extension animator from Fredo 6. And so animator is a free extension from Fredo 6, which I will link to in the notes down below that allows you to actually animate movement. So for this particular video, what we wanna do is we wanna animate two things. We wanna animate this car driving down the road and we want to animate the wheels turning. And so this is a great extension for doing that. So again, remember you need to install the extension as well as Libfredo, which is Fredo's library of script dependency files. I will link to both of those in the notes down below. Just install Libfredo first and then Animator second. Um, it shouldn't be that difficult. And uh, all we need to do is we need to start creating our video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this button for Clip Editor. And the first thing it's gonna tell us is that we need to save our model. So I'm gonna go save this. And so once we've done that, you can click on the button for clip, clip editor, and that's gonna pop up this menu right here. And if you remember last week, we used this in order to animate a door opening and closing. And for now, we're just gonna assume this is a one-way street. Um, I'm not gonna to worry too much about traffic going back and forth or anything like that. Um, we could always come back in and change that later if we wanted to. But for right now, what I wanna do is I wanna animate this car moving down the road. And so in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to add a movement. So if you remember over here um, in the insert section, you can insert different things like camera locations, visual effects, um, unit movements specifically is what we want. So we're gonna click on unit movement. We're gonna click on new movement. So when we do that, what we wanna do is we wanna select this car. So we want to select, and you'll notice that this gives you kind of a stacked selection box in here that can kind of show you what you have selected. This will show you all the different groups inside of something you select. In this case, we want to click on the button for component number 12, which is going to be our overall car model. And you could rename that in the outliner if that's less confusing for you. But in this situation, we have our object selected. Well, now what we want to do is we want to add a translation. So a translation is just a movement between one point and another. So for example, you can see how this is now active. I could click right here and then move my mouse over here and click again. And so basically what we've told it is this translation movement is going to be our car moving 91 feet along the red axis. So if you click the play button to preview this, you can see how this car is moving those 91 feet in two seconds. And so you can adjust the length of this. So if you want this to go a little slower, you could say that it's gonna be four seconds. So then if I click play, you can see how the car is gonna move a little bit slower. And so what that's done is that's added our car movement into our scene. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the button for save the sequence and exit. So now, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna notice this added a little blue bar on the left-hand side of the screen that corresponds with that movement. And so you can see how this gives us a four second animation of this car moving. And so if I was to click in here and if we were to zoom in and look at this, so if we were to click play, you can see how the problem with this animation, if you zoom in, you look at it a little bit closer, is the car doesn't look very good because the wheels aren't actually turning. It's just moving along, but the wheels themselves are static. And so what we need to do in order to change that is we need to adjust this so that 
our car has rolling wheels. And so to do that, we're gonna add another movement. So in this case, we're gonna go back to zero seconds. We're gonna click on insert a unit movement and we're gonna click on new movement. And so this movement is going to be a rotation. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna click on rotation and we're gonna go down and look at our car. And so in this situation, we want this to be associated with group number 54. So that's gonna be our wheel. And so what we want is we wanna click our wheel and we wanna find the central point on this face. And so because this is in here kinda of weird, um, we're gonna to have to guess just a little bit because this isn't in here as a flat face, which is a little bit annoying, but um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find a point that's pretty close to this. And we wanna make sure that we set our rotation axis to the Y axis, because we only want this to rotate along that Y axis. So we're gonna find this central point on this circle. And again, I'm guessing, one thing you might wanna do is delete that face out and create a better face in there. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click right here. And that's gonna set our center point of our rotation. So in this situation, now what we need to do is we've set our center point, now we need to set our angle. So for this one, we're gonna click right here to set our angle, and then you can see how when we move our mouse, this is actually rotating this wheel. And you can see how this is adding a number of degrees in here every time I move my mouse around here. Well, all we really need in this situation is we just need our angle to go 360 degrees. So we're gonna click, we're gonna type in 360 degrees and click OK. And so now, what you're gonna notice is as you move along in the timeline right here, this wheel is turning 360 degrees based on that central point that we placed in here. And so you can adjust the amount of time that this takes. So like for example, if we play this, I'd say our wheels are actually looking pretty close, but if you wanted the wheels to spin faster, you could make this duration shorter. So you could say it's a one second instead of a two second. So if you do that, that means this is gonna turn 360 degrees in one second instead of two. So you can use this to adjust the speed at which those wheels turn. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on this button right here for save the sequence and exit. All right, so we've got our front wheel animation uh, set up here. I don't know why it is not showing up in my preview. So if anyone has had this issue before and you figured out how to fix it, let me know. Like the animation is still in there. Like if I double click on it and go look at it, it's playing. And if I export this, then the wheels rotating will play, but for some reason it's not showing up in my preview. So we're gonna keep going just for the sake of getting this video um, exported, but if anyone has a fix for that, I would love to see it. And so what we have here is we have this animation. Well, the problem with this animation right now is it's only one second long, but our overall, or I think I've got it set at two right now, but our overall animation is going to be four seconds long. And so right now that means that our rotation would stop two seconds into the video. And so what we wanna do is we wanna click on this in order to edit it. And if you look under the option for repeat, what that's gonna do is that's gonna repeat your movement. So you can see how when I click on this little infinite button, you can set this to, to replay infinitely. So this will replay as many times as it can fit inside the length of your video. And so then what we can do is let's say that we wanted this to turn a little bit faster. So what we could do is we could set that rotation animation to have a duration of one second. So every second your wheels would do a 360 degree turn. And so then this would just have that repeat over and over and over again. And so the only thing with this is now we need to add the same thing for our rear wheels. So we're just gonna click in here and we're gonna insert a new movement and we'll just set it as a rotation again. And we just need to select an object, in this case, this wheel, and we're gonna click on this group. And we'll just do the same thing. We're gonna set this, there we go. We're gonna set this to the Y axis. We're gonna find close to the center of this shape. And then we're gonna set this to have an angle of 360 degrees. So we're just gonna call this 360 degrees, hit enter. And so now you can see how when we look at this, the rotation of both of these wheels is 360 degrees every second. And you do need to make sure that those turn at the same rate, otherwise your animation looks weird. But we're gonna click on the checkbox 
And again, I don't know why it's not previewing. Um, I feel like it should be, but it's not. And we're just gonna set this to repeat. And we're gonna set this whole sequence to about four seconds long. And in this situation for this video, we'll just make it very simple. And we'll just set our camera view right here for the whole time. So we're just gonna click on this button right here to insert a camera. And we'll just do a new camera. We'll click Capture Current View Camera and click OK. And that means that now our view is going to be at this camera location for the duration of this clip. And now, for whatever reason, so it kind of looked like those were turning in that particular situation. So that's a little bit odd to me. But I'm going to go back real quick and change the duration of these to two seconds instead of one for both of them. And so we can just click on these real quick and change their duration right here. So I'm gonna set this so that animation is actually every two seconds instead of one. And so if I click play, you can see how the car is going to drive by. And the wheels are going to turn. So and we may have to play around with this a little bit, but for now, let's go ahead and export this and see what it's gonna look like. And if you wanted to make it even slower, you could increase the duration. I think for now, we'll go ahead and leave it as is. So this is just gonna give us a real short video, but we're just gonna go up and click on the button for generate video from the film. And again, I will link to the video down below that walks you through installing this FFmpeg program. That's what's gonna give you the options for all these different video types. But we're just gonna name this rolling car animation and we can test the image if we want to to see what size this is going to be so the image is going to be about this size we'll call that okay and then we're just going to click on generate video so what that's going to do is that's going to go through and that's going to generate a video based on the animation we created so this is kind of kind of work in the background here and I'm just gonna let this go you can see how this gives us a remaining time estimate um, I found that it usually takes longer than what's in the remaining time estimate but I guess we'll see so we'll just let this go and then we'll come back and take a look at it and see how we like the animation we've created all right so now this is done so let's go in and let's click on the button for the mp4 that we created and take a look at this so you can see how what we have right now is we have a four second long animation of a car driving by so even though they weren't turning in the preview, they are turning here. And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm probably going to go back through and play around with this a little bit more, um, make sure that those wheels are turning through the whole direction. But this is kind of a good starting point for how you can animate a vehicle moving with the wheels moving inside of SketchUp. And from there, you could make it longer. You could add different things. It does get a little bit tricky if you're trying to turn um, to get the tires to turn and other things like that. So that's something to think about is maybe um, set up your videos so that you only have like straight on views so that you don't have to animate and rig all the tires turning and things like that but you can build on this to create multiple cars moving and other things like that as well so that's where i'm gonna end this video leave a comment below and let me know what you thought do you like this video is there some kind of variation of this you'd like to learn i just love having that conversation with you guys remember that you can download the example files for this video at the sketchup essentials.com slash animation uh, if you like this video please remember to click that like button down down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.